Um, okay, so this presentation uh, summarizes the current status of a mapping effort uh, that we have submitted to the USGS for consideration as a SIM series map. Um, this map was created by myself and Katie Stack at JPL as the mappers, and we'd also like to give a special shout out to Jeff Schroeder, also of JPL, for his very helpful assistance in assembling the components of this map package. Uh, next slide, please. Um, okay, so uh, this is just an introduction to our map area. It is a one by one degree region covering Jezero Crater and Nili Planum, uh, which has previously been known as uh, Northeast Sirtis as well in the literature. Um, and so both of these locations are located in that region west of Isidus Basin, you can see in the lower left, and uh, you can also see the map area itself on the right. Um, both of these locations were uh, two previous Mars 2020 landing site candidates, and of course, um, Jezero Crater uh, has since been selected as the landing site for the Perseverance rover. Uh, and the motivation behind this mapping effort is, of course, to provide support for future in situ missions like Mars 2020, um, as well as future orbital studies. Um, and of course, we aim to determine the history of geologic and aqueous processes that have affected this region um, by doing the mapping. Uh, but I think the more uh, unique motivation behind this map is that we would like to correlate units and processes between Jezero Crater and Nili Planum, which is just outside of Jezero. And this is because um, previously in the past literature, um, Jezero and Nili Planum have largely been studied and mapped separately. Um, and they've even been hypothesized to represent different types of surface versus subsurface environments. Um, and these differences are pervasive in the literature, um, despite these locations having what we think to be um, some very similar sequences of geologic and mineralogic units. So that's one of the driving motivations behind this work. Um, we propose this as a two-year project with PDART, and uh, we are currently working and aiming for um, publication by the time Mars 2020 lands in February 21, uh, 2021. Next slide, please. Um, okay, um, so I'll leave most of the details on the slide for you to peruse, and I'll just point out the major items. Um, so the important things are that we are mapping on a MRO CTX base map, um, and our mapping methodology is really not anything out of the norm, except that we split the map area um, into two at the beginning, and then uh, each, uh, Katie and myself, um, mapped individually and then reconciled our map areas into a single map. Um, so the figure on the right shows the current status of our map at the time of uh, first submission in April 2020. Uh, you can see that in a nutshell, we have 14 geologic units uh, grouped into those that occur only in Jezero, those that are only in Nili Planum, and then some that occur uh, across the entire map area. And I'll also point out um, in particular that um, there are some surface features that we've mapped um, in those stipple patterns, and uh, they're um, especially um, uh, pervasive on the NNP1 unit, which is that tan color in the lower left quadrant, and the uh, NUE unit, which is that widespread orange color. Um, and the reason that we've uh, mapped these out as uh, superficial features is because even though these are very uh, sort of systematic textual variations in these two units um, that have not previously been mapped to our knowledge, um, we're not entirely sure that they represent different stratigraphic units, and so that's the reason that they are mapped as surface features. Uh, next slide, please. Um, okay, so this is just our current status. Uh, we submitted in April for the technical review process, and then we review, re, we received reviews um, a few months later. So uh, really big thanks um, from us to the USGS mapping group and to our reviewers for that super quick turnaround and the really thorough comments. Um, right now, we are working in the process of working on those revisions and aiming for our revision deadline, um, which is coming up soon, August 4th. Um, so I talked a little bit about results. I'll just highlight a few more. Um, I think it's important to note that overall, we do find that our um, map units are overall consistent with previous efforts, um, although uh, we do call out uh, several textual variations. Um, in terms of stratigraphic relationships, there are some departures um, from the previous publications, notably that we propose a correlation between um, the Jezero floor unit um, to the Nili Plains unit outside uh, and NNP2. Um, and this is a little bit different than what has previously been interpreted. Uh, next slide, please. Um, so this is my last slide. Uh, those are just our initial findings um, that I just briefly went through. We're in the process of revising, and some of the um, larger issues that we're working on are described here. 
Um, I think to summarize in a nutshell and not go through this in detail, um, a lot of our difficulty kind of stems from the finer map scale of our maps compared to some of the other mapping efforts. Um, and the detail that can be discerned at our map scale is kind of writing the boundary between CTX resolution and the higher resolution high rise data. And you can kind of get a sense for that in the two images here. Um, but I think we can uh, do a better job at explaining these differences in the map text and maybe making use of some high rise images to better illustrate um, the differences in characteristics uh, that are different between these units. Uh, so that's our current status. Thank you.